Hello everybody and welcome to episode 4 of the Pleasant Craft Server Season 2. How you guys doing today? In today's video we're gonna get up to some good stuff. I got a lot of things planned for today, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But uh, before we uh, before we get any farther, uh, I gotta I gotta do a quick explanation of why things might look a little different. So let's roll that footage. Okay, so I got a message from Crow. <laughs> and Crow said, make sure you're recording or live when you go back to your base in the overworld. And I'm both right now and I need to... <laughs> we're gonna hop through and we're gonna go see what the heck Crow did at the base. Okay, look down. No spoilers. Okay. It's not in render distance yet. Okay. Um, okay. If we, if we fly this way, I'm going to fly straight up so I don't load it all in. Because I kind of want it to be all loaded in at the same time. Okay. Oh my. Oh my god. <laughs> what? You're kidding me. You're kidding me. He did not! No! <laughs> no! He did not! Mm. This... You are freaking kidding me, dude! No freaking way! <laughs> what?! I see... There's a Jenny... Jenny's over there... Being... Je oh my god... What?! The heck?! I ate the cookie! Oh my god, that's reference to string... It's what? Huh? What? Blessed be? Huh? Okay. What? What about? What, okay. Uh, literally everything got. Uh huh. What? Uh, uh, what? What? Okay. Come down here. What the heck? Okay, so we didn't actually flip this. These guys are still here. Okay, that made me a little nervous, but... Oh, thank you for farming my eggs. Okay. What the heck? I gotta talk to Crow. Well, I'm recording. Tell me your whole plan for this. What was your whole plan? What was going through your mind when you did this? Well, I didn't like how much luck you've been having, my good sir. <laughs> you like my luck? so much luck with <laughs> diamonds, with with ancient debris, with just anything Wither at Wither skeleton all. skulls. Wither skeleton Only, skulls. I had to kill... 23 wither skeletons to get four skulls and you ate the cookie on stream and then you denied it and i was like you need to be punished so i was originally thinking like okay maybe <laughs> i do something subtle like move your entire keep one block to the right you know <laughs> something so small you'd be like was it like this or not but then i was like what if i rotate it well then if i rotate 90 you know i mean that, that'd be kind of interesting but then we try i tried rotating in 180 degrees and uh -huh. I noticed with 180 degrees actually lined up lines up with your tunnel below very nicely. Yeah. Like, as though it's just moving the tunnel. And it looks very nice for the tower on the other side from the water. And I just mm -hmm. like it overall better. So in, in anything, it's now an upgrade. Yes. To your yes. lovely design. An upgrade. Yes. Uh-huh. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna leave it. You're gonna flip <laughs> it back in a week, aren't you? No, no. I, uh, okay. I, I, I got only about four and a half hours sleep last night. I'm good. <laughs> oh my god. I just oh my god. All right, well uh, Okay <laughs> Don't worry. I, you go back to getting your copper or whatever. I'm gonna go back to what I was doing. Oh, I, I should point <laughs> out um, This is my first prank. So they're only gonna go up from here. So oh, just so you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. go yeah. prank Jenny or something Someone who's I not mean, online go go flip Meg's house upside down you have no idea how how much time I had to wait for you to go to sleep last night <laughs> to make sure that, you know, you weren't coming back on. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. All righty. Well, thank you for the base improvements, good sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. You too. Bye bye. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, pretty much. Crow <laughs> flipped the entire ba It's raining. It don't matter. Crow flipped the entire base around. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if I showed it off that well in that clip, but this entire thing has been flipped. He, the madman, flipped the whole thing around. Dark Phoenix Keep, more like Phoenix Dark Keep, am I right? Yeah, I honest, I'm not even mad. I kind of like it because, hey, it's something different. It'll take me two days to get used to and then I'll be back to normal. But uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. It does mean that I have much easier access to my villagers down here because I just walk in. Hello, walk back out. And yeah, and it, it's it's insane. That was the main big thing though that started off today's episode. But other things we're going to work on. I need to go end bossing because I need to get more shulker boxes and preferably some extra elytras. And then also, I have opened up two mini stands in the end. I want to show those off real quick. So let's head over to the end. Let me show you my my business because business is booming. Not not business the cat. Business the cat ain't booming. Bit business the cat is cuddling and sleeping peacefully on my bed. Alrighty, welcome to the end again. There has been one new shop installed. It's an iron hut. I think the Iron Hut is what it's called. The Iron Hut, yes. It'll be expanded later, but it sells iron and flowers. Well, the flowers are free, but iron and stuff. But you may have noticed that when I walked in, <laughs> there are these two derpy little stands. I haven't built full-on shops because my plan is to eventually build one big shop that just covers most things and then maybe a few small stands later on. But this is Vikings Fire Resistance Stand. One diamond for three potions. Boom, you can buy three potions for one diamond. I am selling fire resistance because, you know, I get a lot of them from my piglin bartering. And I personally love having fire resistance on me at all times. So that, like, if I fall into lava or I'm, I'm netherite mining or things like that, I'm safe. And then over here, welcome to Vikings Soul Speed book stand. Soul, blah, 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 blah. Welcome to Vikings Soul Speed book stand. There we go. It's a tongue twister. Say that five times fast. Four diamonds per book. And we've already made a sale. Looky, looky, that's my bookie. Woo. All right. Yeah, I just got to keep this stock too because a lot of people were interested in buying Soul Speed. And of course, last episode, we upgraded my boots to that Soul Speed 3 level, which means that we are on another level of <coughs> overpoweredness. But this is that project. And then another project I want to tackle today, just to keep, like something nice for the community. Maybe I can get a couple people to help me out with it. We need to light up this island. So if, if you take a look right now, there's a little area here in the middle, it's been lit up, right? But everywhere else is dark. And wherever it's dark, Enderman can spawn. So if I come up here, you can take a look. It'd be really nice to get this whole area just covered in torches so that we don't have to worry about Enderman. Because the big problem in the shopping, having the shopping district in the end is people get attacked by Enderman all the time, which you know, you're trying to just buy your bread, trying to buy your cheese and crackers, and then all of a sudden you're being attacked by a very tall Enderman, and you're like, OH MY GOD! It's, yeah, no, it's not a good combo. Also, that reminds me, let's check sales over here. Checking out the cafe. Yes, f tips are always appreciated. Six diamonds made so far. <gasps> Somebody bought chicken! Heck yeah! You know what, I'm actually gonna leave that in there for now. It helps remind me to keep stuck. Someone bought chicken! Yes! I have reduced the price of the golden carrots because I actually have been getting a bit of a stockpile golding. And realistically, I need to reduce this price. And I also, I need to reduce this price. Eventually have everything in here, like be like one diamond for two stacks here and then one diamond per stack for everything else. And then that way, that way people are buying it. Cause I, I will admit this is, this is pretty hefty, pretty hefty early game. And I don't know, I feel bad. I always ruin economies cause I always start off way too cheap. So I tried starting off more expensive. This is a tip just for anyone on an SMP. Start off a little higher than you think and then work your way back down rather than trying to work your way up. Because if you're working your way up in price, no one's no one's going to buy it because why would they buy something that they could use to buy for one diamond for two diamonds? They'll make their own store, make their own farms. So with this, though, we now don't have to worry about the... Diamonds. I, I got a steady supply of diamonds flowing in with all my little shops. So, the next thing we're going to work on, we're going to stay here in the end. I actually got a nice time lapse for you coming up. So, roll that music and enjoy the time lapse. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alrighty, that time lapse was a good one. A lot of fun to record. Did it live on stream actually? Milkman came over and helped me a part of the way through that. We we tore down the entire end city over here. So you remember earlier on, I think episode two, I think it was, I showed off this area. There was an end city here, and now there's no more end city. It is completely gone. If you ever wondered what an end city of items looks like, <laughs> look at all this. Milkman came through and took a couple pieces of purple because he needs it for his building pallet, but this is an entire end city shoved into three double chests. <laughs> and there's a lot of endermen over here, so another thing I'll have to do is light up this area with torches, which is something I might do today, might not, we'll see. But uh, yeah, we also got this lovely <laughs> temporary walkway. I wanted to make it very obvious where the exit was. The other exit technically is over there, but you can just swim on up. It's non elytra friendly now. And another project for future, I do want to put a layer of black glass down at the void level so that if I do fall off or if someone's visiting my base and falls off, they don't die because that would suck. But also chose to leave in the boat because it's a boat. It's cute. Nice to reminisce. Um, it may get ripped out later. We'll see. I just wanted to leave it for now because it looks cool. So. But coming back up here, I need to grab a trap door for this, actually, because as of right now, you can get through, but you can't go back this way. Because there's no light, there's it's only elytra. So that was a fun project though. Tearing this whole thing down, I've never torn down an entire end city. But that means now that the end city is completely gone, we can actually start work on moving to the end. <laughs> it's, it's insane. We're gonna have villagers and farm animals and all kinds of things. I gotta get villagers out here, which is gonna be a pain in the butt, but it'll be possible. And uh it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. But before we can get to that, we got to head back here because I have been gathering. Oh, hello there. Boop. I have been gathering some resources. Notice that water there and there. Yeah, we got one more project to work on that I would like to get finished before we can move to the end. And that project is a gas farm. -na 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 -na. I totally threw off the obsidian there, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't actually end up going with an obsidian base design, nether portal base design, blah, 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 blah. We have ourselves here a gas farm and I forgot to turn it off before I left, but uh, it is my main source of gunpowder now, which means I got plenty of rockets, which is very helpful. But yeah, so the way this farm works, it's a design by uh, 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 easygoing MC. Very good design, very nice YouTuber. It's very awesome. So the way it works, of course, you have magma blocks with wither roses on dirt blocks. And the way it works is you I keep saying that line. I'll say it five more times, I promise. You have a minecart going around underneath like that. And you fly up or climb up with ladders or whatever. You go up here, essentially, where all the mobs are at. And then you if I turn on my hitboxes, you'll be able to see, boom, gas will spawn down on the ground. And then they'll die because of the wither roses that are there. So it basically just a passive AFK gas farm that works flawlessly and gives me everything I need to get this to work. So I'm very happy with this. Like I said, we needed to get this project finished before we could move to the end because we needed to make sure we had a steady supply of rockets. I actually had a lot of paper built up, luckily, but I didn't have a lot of gunpowder. And now that we have this farm, also ready for the worst sound ever. Oh wait, I forgot I had tossed all mobs turned off. Cause I didn't want to, I didn't want to hear that sound. <laughs> oh my God. That sound is the worst sound ever. But now that we've gotten this mess cleaned up or not this mess, this project finished up for now. And I may come back and expand it later. Cause it is tileable. You can just, you just, all you need, what limits you is your amount of power rails and rails really. But, uh, we got ourselves, even our storage system and filters to make sure everything's all set. Now that this is, oh, it's almost off. It turns off once this returns and then sits there. Ready? Boom, now it's done. It's gonna throw some more gunpowder our way. It's very loud. There we go. But yeah, so Vikings gas farm, private. 
on off. Perfect. Let's head back. Let's do one final goodbye to Vikings Keep, or what did I call it? Dark Phoenix Keep. Sorry, Dark Phoenix Keep. And then we will move to the end. Ah, uh, yes. My flip to keep. Dark Phoenix Keep. Ah, uh, you have been a fantastic starter base this season so far. And uh, we'll be using you more, of course, as, a, as an overworld staging area. But all of this stuff, all these chests, all these tables, all these farms, eventually he and even business cat, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to come with me to the end, which is going to acquire a lot of shulker boxes, or at least one good empty shulker box, not a backpack, and uh, some, some patience. But I think with the power of editing, this whole project will take no time at all. Ta -da -da -da! Yes, I have officially moved everything over here. All of our different junk and various useful tools and pants and all kinds of junk have been moved over to the end officially. And I started working on a little trick. So I was live on stream and I asked like, what should we do? Should we live, build a little bunker underground? And then someone, and then I looked at the ship and was like, oh, wait a minute. Wouldn't it be cool to kind of live on the end ship for a while while we're working on building up the actual face? And so I was like, okay, that'd be cool. But what if, and then I looked at these blocks and was like, wait a minute, that looks exactly like the copper texture, just a different color. So I was like, boom. So that's what I'm currently working on. The current project <laughs> or mini project, it's not a full project, mini project is to replace every single block of this ship with copper. So we have a, a full copper end ship steampunk style flying and shit maybe add some propellers to it or something or some wings it could be really cool but yeah so that is the main ship as you can see i'm working on it a little bit of context just so you understand where i'm going with this every block is unwaxed except for these guys because on an original end ship these are actually a different color they're the uh the end stone brick texture so there's a two two color effect going on so when this oxidizes this will not, and it'll look really cool. And we're going to change these windows out for cyan glass windows. But for now, of course, we're not because it hasn't oxidized yet. But as we're going along, I also replaced all of the obsidian here with the dark prismarine because it's going to match the green of all the oxidized stuff really well. So, but that's the basically what's happened with my moving process. Like, it took me a little bit. It didn't take too long. It took a stream and I got, I got everything moved up for here and set up. And then on another stream, something else that happened. It's been a couple days. I lit up the entirety of my end island. I almost had a heart attack. It's fine. I did not. <laughs> my wings are on. Yes. But see, we we pretty much lit up the entirety of our end island. There's a couple spots I've missed, but I can go back through and fix those. But this means that essentially we have a safe end island to work at without having to worry about mobs or things or endermen or anything bothering us while we're working. And I've actually planned out a bit of the base, kind of what to start with and whatnot. As you can see, I got two mushrooms. Hello. And two villagers out here already. So we'll be able to get started on those probably next episode. Some kind of villager trading facilities. Probably my next goal. Because if we head to the shopping district right now, you will see I have been making not here. Some sales. Yeah. I need to get <laughs> I need to get some more golden carrots trading. Cause holy cow, that's 12 diamonds right there. And then that's another five. That's 17 diamonds to our name. Just from sales here. And I need to get working and uh, get more golden carrots because these guys sold out and they're going to be a popular and i'd like to reduce that price as well even more so people get reliant on buying their food from me <laughs> also look at how well enchanted netherite goes with i just realized this. look at how pretty enchanted netherite looks i threw that on the ground with the amethyst texture like that looks fantastic i need to find a way to use that later on but yeah so we need to get we need to get villagers set up. I think in total, yeah, we've made 25 diamonds from this shop, which is really nice. If we head over to our other shops, we have some pop, we have our pop-up stands. We have actually sold all that obsidian that I found. We've actually been selling obsidian. Uh, no one has bought fire resistance potions, but that's fine. They're there in case they need them. And then we also have our soul speed book shops. So I think my, my idea is once these sell out or have lived their purpose, I'll just tear them down. So I'll just leave all diamonds and everything in here until it's sold. And then uh, once we build an actual shop here, 
it will it will go away of course and maybe we'll sell all this in one shot maybe we'll build multiple but you can see there's just been like look at this crow for example that's a wither rose shop it's a giant rose that sells wither roses and guardian and log and wool people are starting to build more here and it's fan freaking tastic so very excited for that very excited for this season so far but oh my goodness gracious me let me show you one final thing that i've done to help speed up that process of converting an end ship to a copper ship. Located in the middle of the Mushroom Island is this lovely pond with a secret. If you go down here, sink down into the ground, you will find a copper farm. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, that is correct. I have built a copper farm and it's a pretty cool one at that. I'm very happy with it. It's a zombie spawner that then the zombies go down the hallway and they get launched up here where they then get, uh oh, I fell. They get pushed up into the cobweb system that you've seen on other copper farms, like, like Tango Tech and Crow's Copper Farm and things like that. And basically means that the cop, the, the drowns get converted into, is that a, what the heck just happened? I've never, uh, <laughs> first time for everything, I suppose. Anyway, um. They get converted into drowns, at which point, if you didn't know this, drowns drop copper. So I did a tiny, tiny, like one hour AFK session and already got a stack and 11 copper ingots, which makes me very happy. And this guy's going to try to kill me now, isn't he? I just realized. Hmm. I haven't had this problem before. Yeah. Is he? Yeah, he is. Well, that's a problem we have to solve. There we go. That's weird. But yeah, see, they're getting converted into drowns and then they'll drop down right in front of me and drop some copper. I did a quick little decoration job in here. I'm not happy with this. Like, this is not the final product. I'm going to be updating this. But uh, I wanted to get the copper farm built. And something, this is a piece of advice for all of y'all. Back behind this thing here. Let's see what I mean. I have torches. Okay, let's go on in there real quick. And uh, really quickly, just shut the whole thing off. If you look back there, you'll see a turtle egg. That's my secret to preventing clogs in this farm. Because sometimes zombies will get stuck. They'll want to walk back this way. They're not going to... It's going to cause a clog. If you put a turtle egg there with two blocks of air above it. So one block, two block, three block, three blocks tall. The, the, the zombies are going to be like, oh, I want to crush that. And they're going to run towards it and get launched up into the into the stratosphere. Or well, not the stratosphere in this case, but uh, the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The, the, the farm. Where then I can come over here and go, whatcha, whatcha. And they will die. And then they will drop yummy, yummy copper for me. And it's, look at how fast it is, too. Oh, my God. I completely forgot to shut it off. As I was saying, the farm is now working full lawlessly. And it's also completely AFKable. So it means I can turn on my auto clicker. I have a little auto clicker program. Thank you to Exuma Void, who has a wonderful tutorial on how to get that. And I use that. I hold food in my offhand and I go swap, swap, swap. And then I have myself an unlimited supply of copper ingots. So... I'm gonna have to do some AFK, but we're gonna get enough copper to finish that entire base, which is gonna look fantastic. But ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm gonna have to leave it off for today. This video is already a little behind and I don't have the time to get that AFK session in and build the rest of that little shot ship. So in the next episode, look forward to seeing the finished results of that converted ship. As always, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a like. And if you loved it, make sure to subscribe. It really helps the channel. But thank you guys very much for watching today's video. Have a good life. Be of good cheer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.